Well, hey there, kiddos. It's your good buddy, Clarence. Marty isn't here today because he's organizing his closet, so he can't be here right now. But while I have you here, I can share this super neato verse from the Bible with you. It's in Philippians, which is towards the back of your Bible, in chapter 4, verse 6, where it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Philippians 4, 6. I love this big Bible verse because it tells us that no matter how hard life is, I don't need to be anxious about anything, and instead I can be grateful. Even when there are no waves and no pocket protector or it breaks, I can still have a ton to be thankful to God for. And when we're not thankful to God for the good things He gives us, our hearts get all gross and slimy, and it can even lead to death, which all sin leads to death, by the way. And that reminds me of a story in the Bible. It's when the Israelites were in the wilderness and they complained against Moses. Do you guys want to see it? Coolio! Well, I'll catch you when you get back. Hello kids and welcome to The Greatest Story. I'm Oswald the Owl and today the Athey Critters will be talking about the Bronze Serpent. The children of Israel were wandering in the wilderness. It was hot, they were hungry, and life was not easy for them, so they complained against God. They were not happy with God, so they complained to Moses. Man, why have you brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? Yeah, we're sick and tired of this loathsome manna. We're gonna die! They were not thankful that God provided food and water for them. They were not thankful that God rescued them. They were not thankful that they were God's people. So the Lord sent fiery serpents that bit the people. Whoever was bitten by a fiery serpent died. The people cried to Moses. We have sinned! We have spoken against the Lord and against you! Pray to the Lord that he will take the serpents away! So Moses prayed, and God told him to do something that seemed perhaps a bit strange. God told Moses to make a bronze serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who was bitten was to look at it and they would live. Moses did as God commanded. All the people who looked at the serpent on the bronze pole in the wilderness lived. Those who did not look at the serpent on the bronze pole died. God didn't take away the plague, but he did make a way of salvation. What does a serpent on the bronze pole have to do with us today? Jesus talked about this story to a man named Nicodemus. Just as he told Nicodemus that the serpent was lifted up for all to see and be healed, so too the Son of Man would have to be lifted up. Whoever believes in him would have eternal life. The serpent on the bronze pole was a picture of Jesus. Jesus forgives us of our sins when we put our hope and trust in Him. When we give our lives to Jesus, we will be healed of our sin and death. But why would God send snakes that could kill people? God was showing how wrong it is to be ungrateful for what He has given us. Romans 1 tells us that when we do not honor God as God and we are not thankful for what He has given us, then our hearts will be darkened. And when people have darkened hearts, they want to sin. They wanted the snakes? No one wants the effects of sin. Sin brings death. Fortunately, God gave us a way to be healed from our sins. Through Jesus, right? That's right. We need to look to Jesus for our salvation. He is Lord of all, and we need to be thankful for what he has given us. That's awesome! Fiery snakes, yikes! I do not like snakes. And being ungrateful leads to pain and sorrow, not to mention a hardening of your heart against God. I know I don't want that for me or for you guys. I don't think you would like it either. It's not good. And hey, you know what would be cool? To go on a Bible quest with Chef Catherine and Jacques. And you can learn more about what it means to be thankful. 
And here are three reminders that you'll need to find and Bible verses you'll need to find for them. The first one is to be thankful for what God has given us, and two, to be thankful for what God hasn't given us, and three, to be thankful for who God is. I'll see you kids when you get back. Hello children, I am Chef Catherine. Welcome to my kitchen. Cooking is my favorite thing to do and we always learn so many of God's lessons while we make delicious food. Today, some of my students will be competing to make the best PB and J sandwich. Chefs, you have 10 minutes to complete this task. On your marks, get set, go! Ah! 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 This will be a piece of cake. I will grab my ingredients now. Ah! 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 My, 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 Jacques, what's the matter? Oh, maybe it is just the cooking nerves, but I can't make PB&J! Yes, you can, Jacques. PB&J is easy, and you've made it before. <laughs> easy? Oh, wow, is me. Oh, I mean, just look at my table. It is completely empty. Oh, my goodness, I have no ingredients, and... Look over there at Antonio's side of the table. Peanut, peanut butter. And jelly, oh, no, 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 no. Peanut, no. peanut butter. And jelly, oh, I can't resist. Oh, oh, oh. Peanut butter and jelly. That was my part. These are the sandwiches for me. Ah, oh, I have to go back to Kitty. That guy Antonio has all the ingredients and he even has dancing PB and J's over there to cheer him on. Oh, Jacques, you're missing the point. Don't you remember the first reminder? Uh, is it to hire dancing PB&Js? No, Jacques. We can be thankful for what God has given you. Oh, uh, we, I, I guess you are right, but what has God given for me for this PB&J making stuff? God has given you hands to make PB&J sandwiches and a pantry full of ingredients right over there. You just need to go grab them. Oh, I forgot the Labasa pantry. Oh. We often forget all that God has given us. There is always something he has given us that we can be thankful for. This reminds me of a verse. Oh. Giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5.20 we can be thankful always. Remember, Jacques, to be thankful for what God has given you. Oh, we oh, are five, Catherine. That is so awesome. Oh, God has given me a whole pantry of full of ingredients right over there. And he has given me these extremely well manicured and talented PP and J making hands. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay, uh, Miss Catherine, I'm going to go and make for you the most amazing PB and J that you have ever tasted. Woohoo! And we are back. The chefs are hastily making their PBs and J with only five minutes left on the clock. Oh, it and is perfect. It looks like Antonio oh, yes, yes, is yes. making PB and J with a modern no, twist no, no. by adding gummy bears. Oh, gummy gummy bears. worms, gummy worms. I call it PB and J a la gummy worm. Mwah. It is perfect. Very nice, Antonio. Now let's see how our other chef is doing. It looks like Jacques is... Oh, I'm making an even better sandwich without any gummy worms. Oh, Miss Catherine, I need something even more bold for my sandwich. I need gummy, um, uh, gummy bears. Oh, no, oh, too cute and cuddly. Oh, sink, Jacques, sink, 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 sink. Oh, I know, I need gummy sharks oh ho, ho, ho. take that antonio <laughs> now uh, let me just call up the local aquarium and see if for they have any gummy sharks okay let me just get my phone here um yes okay um jock what are you doing uh one second miss catherine <laughs> oh this reception is so nice hello 
Hello? Uh, excuse me, yes, do you have any gummy sharks? I need like a hundred thousand of them to make the most delicious PB&J sandwich and I need super duper expedited shipping. Can you get them here like right now, please? Oh, Jacques, you don't call an aquarium for candy. Ah. And look, I don't think Antonio's gummy worms are working out anyway. <gasps> oh. No, no, my gummy worms. No, stop it, stop it, you mean people sandwiches. No, Miss Catherine, what should I do? Mademoiselle, oh, not the bread in my face, no. It looks like his dancing pb j is eating all his gummy worms. <laughs> you know what, Jacques? Remember how you could be thankful for things you have? We. Oh, oui. Yes, I, I do remember that, Miss Catherine. Do you remember the second reminder? Um, that we can be thankful for what God has not given you? Uh, wait, wait a minute. So that means I can be thankful that I don't have gummy candy and crazy wacky sandwich assistance because I'd be in a big mess like Antonio. Mm-hmm. That's exactly it, Jacques. You can be thankful that you aren't in a mess or in trouble or sick or that you have dancing sandwich helpers that would mess up everything. Oh, thank you, Lord, that I don't have dancing sandwich helpers. But, uh, Lord, you have given me the right ingredients and that brings up a verse. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 I will be thankful in all circumstances with what I have and with what I don't have. Now, Jacques, I think you have only a few more minutes to complete your PB&J sandwich. Oh, yes! Right away! The chefs are busy adding their last few touches to these PB&J sandwiches. It looks like Antonio no, is no, just no, cutting no. the squares. Oh, time. and Jacques is closing his sandwich as we speak. Count down with us, kids. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, chefs, hands off. No touching your sandwiches. Time to take these to the judges. But first, Antonio. Tell us about yours. <laughs> I call mine lunch. The gummy worm sadly did not make it into the sandwich, but I used the grape jelly and a smooth peanut butter. Then I delicately cut the sandwich into delectable squares. Thank you, Antonio. This looks amazing. Now, Jacques, can you tell us about yours? Um, uh, we oui, Miss Catherine. Um, <clears throat> I also call my creation lunch. Um, I went with bold flavors. I used jalapeno pepper jelly for extra spices and then I added whole peanuts in the shell for a natural crunchy taste um, and then I topped it off with um, this beautiful lovely maple syrup all over the plate. Oh my well I will bring these to the judges. May the best one win. Huh. The judges have decided, and I have the winner's name in this envelope. Is everyone ready? I was born to win. Oh, I'm ready to do my happy victory dance. Go, Miss Catherine, go. And the winner is... Philippe? What? of my hard work. Philippe the snail? Oh, Philippe, when did you even get here? And when did you get so good at making peanut butter and jellies? Me, me. Me, me, me. Oh, you cut off the crust? Philippe, that is genius. Thank you, chefs, for competing today. No matter if you won or lost, we can all be thankful. But I lost. What can I be thankful for? Oh, Antonio, no matter what happens in life, good or bad, we can always be thankful for who God is. Oh, ho, ho, I remember that that is the last reminder. Yes, the Bible says, I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. Psalm 69, 30. We get to magnify God when we give thanks. Oh, but uh, what does magnify mean, Miss Catherine? 
it means to make big or lift on high. So when we thank God, we make him big in our lives? Exactly, Antonio. Oh, we have learned so much today about thankfulness. Yes. Remember to be thankful for what God has given you, be thankful for what he has not given you, and to be thankful for who God is. Me, me, me. Thank you, God, for who you are. Good work on the PB&Js, everyone. Oh, Philippe, um, can you show us your cross-cutting techniques? How was your big Bible quest? Did you find all your verses? Well, let's test and see if you remember what your reminders are. The first one is to be thankful for what God has given us. That's right. And number two, to be thankful for what God hasn't given us. <laughs> that one's tricky. And number three is to be thankful for who God is. And he has given us himself, which is the greatest gift of all. Isn't that cool? It sure is. And why don't you watch a few more shows to understand how and why we need to be thankful. Ahoy there! <laughs> Fear the oh, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Captain. I didn't know we started. I am so, 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 so sorry. Will you please forgive me? Hey, oh, thank I forgive you, me, Captain. No, oh. no. Now go back to your post. Over there! Hi, Captain. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, we're the Hoy Kids. We be the Praise Pirates. I be Billy Buccaneer, ye Captain. Say hi to your Captain. Hey, that be sufficient. Very good. And this be Denisa the Blue. Ahoy! She is so cool, Captain. Wait, this this she be. Mm -hmm. And this be Peter the Pirate. Thank you very much. Yes, that, that, that's enough. I, it's not all about ye, Peter the Pirate. I'm so sorry, Captain. I Please forgive me, Captain. I'm so, I forgive so, ye. Go so back sorry. to your oh, post. Right, right. Um, um. Anywho, we are not here to bow and give introductions. We be here to sing songs to Jesus. I love singing songs to Jesus, Captain. Aye, that'd be good. And today we be singing about springing up a well, river of life in our souls. Oh, that is truly the best, Captain. It makes you just want to go splish splash. Indeed. Because that's what we be doing. Oh, really, Captain? When we say, spring up a well, you get down, and you get on! Splish splash! Down, splish splash! Splish splash! Aye? That is so much fun, Captain. All right. Okay, guys ready? ready? to go, <laughs> Denise. Start, start away. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind. Opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I got a river of life flowing out of a leaping up a well. Splish splash! And in my soul, spring up a well. Splish splash! And make me old, spring up a well. Splish splash! And give to me that life of identity. Alright children, now to add to it, we go splish splash, splish splash, high hook, high hook, to your neighbor. Now if you don't have a hook, you don't have to worry. Careful you not can to just, hit anybody in the eyes. Yes, you can just give him a high five. But for all ye that have hooks, you give him a hook. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Here we go. Up a well. Splish, splash, high hook. And in my soul, bring up a well. Splish, splash, high hook. And make me whole, bring up a well. Splish, splash, high hook. And give to me that life if I can Alright children, now we go splish splash hi hook and when we yell praise the Lord Praise the Lord Okay, let's do it I've got a river of life flowing out of me Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see Open 
Absolutely wonderful in every way possible. Every way possible. Every way. Indeed. Well, for uh, us at the Praise Pirate Island, we be saying farewell to y'all. Farewell, kiddos. Are we live? <clears throat> Hello, Puppet Public. I am coming to you live from downtown. We are asking the tough questions and getting the real answers. Today, we are discussing the word of the week, which is, drum roll please, thankful. Let's see if we can find an unsuspecting genius to answer our questions. Oh, oh, hello, ma'am. Excuse me, uh, would you be available for a few questions? Uh, oh, 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 her, she just whiplashed me with her hair. Um, let's see if we can find somebody else. Um, hmm, how about, uh, oh, oh, we have this guy jogging. Hey, is that my boss? Oh, oh, hey, uh, 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 oh, oh, man. I guess crowds aren't my thing. Hmm. Excuse me! Does anybody want to be interviewed on TV? Oh, oh, I do. I want to be on TV. Oh, awesome. Thank you for your enthusiasm. What is your name? My name's Brandon. Oh, what is your favorite color? Blue. What does the word thankful mean? That's a really great question. Being thankful Wanting is... Wanting more and more toys, candy, and fun? Uh, that, no, not, definitely not it. Is it demanding that you get more toys, candy, and fun and not being happy until you do and throwing a tantrum? Uh, no, that's not it either. The, this is actually the opposite of being thankful. Being thankful means that you are full of thanks. Hmm, full of thanks. That sounds a lot like a Thanksgiving feast to me. I am very full on Thanksgiving. I think you might be missing the point. Being thankful means that we are actually content and happy on the inside. We can be thankful no matter what is happening on the outside. What? So you are saying we can be thankful even when everything is going wrong? Even if I slip on a banana peel and break my leg and then George eats my last box of Cocoa Puffs? That's oddly specific. Yes, we always have something to be thankful for. We can be thankful for what God has given us, what he has not given us, and for who God is. Wow, you are an unsuspecting genius. Why, that, thank you, yes oh, I am. Yeah, you betcha. Uh, that sounds like a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, and even when things go wrong in this life, we can still be thankful for who God is. He is mighty and gracious and loving. Because of his love, God sent Jesus to save us from our sin. And now we get to go to heaven. Ha! Huh, yes, that is good news. So we can be thankful because of who God is, even if George does eat all my Cocoa Puffs? Yeah, we can always be thankful for what God has given us, for what he has not given us, and for who God is. Oh, thank you, unsuspecting genius Brandon, for explaining to the puppet public the word of the week. I am going to try this thankfulness thing every single day of my life. That's great. See you next time. Okay, uh, puppet public, this has been so wonderful. Let's remember to be thankful. And, um, George, Please try not to eat my last box of Cocoa Puffs. Oh, hey kids, good to see you. I was just reading in my Bible. Henry! Henry, Henry, Henry! Yeah, what, what, what is it, Buck? Oh, well, how are you? 
I'm, I'm, I'm good. Well, thank you. I just got back from the scene of the crime. I was driving, and someone crashed into my car. Car? Oh, no. That's right, and it rolled over the edge of a cliff. Oh, my. That's very dramatic. And it exploded. It exploded? That's right. Are you sure that that happened? As sure as the sky is purple, look, here comes the villain now. Oh. Hey, guys. Wait, Buck, you're saying that Homer rolled your car off of a cliff and it exploded? I am saying that, Henry. He absolutely did. Wait a second. If your car exploded, then why are you standing here right in front of me without even a scratch on you? Well, I accidentally did crash into his toy car when we were out racing our Hot Wheels. Bucky. Well, well, that's right. And now I have to work through insurance and Kelly Blue Buck find another car. And oh boy, you know all the hassle that comes with with finding a new automobile. Uh, it's terrible, Henry. Just whoa, terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. This was a Hot Wheel car. This it, It's about this big. It's not a real car. You don't have to worry about insurance or any of that stuff. Oh, don't don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You come out of a wreck and I'll tell you not to worry. You know, Buck and Homer, this is just what I was reading about, okay? Let's read this verse together, kids. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, Philippians 4, 6. So we don't need to worry? Nope, instead of worry, we can be thankful to God. Thankful to God? Hi, Bucky. You can be thankful that it was just your Hot Wheel car that crashed and not your real car. And you can be thankful that uh, you're looking right as rain and you're not hurt at all. Well, I guess you're right. I can be thankful. Uh, well, kids, let's say that verse one more time. Why don't you stand up with me and you can say it with us. Do not, not be anxious, anxious about anything, anything but, but in everything, everything by, by prayer and supplication, supplication with thanksgiving, thanksgiving let, let your requests be made known to God. God. Philippians 4, 6. Bucky, I'm sorry about your hot wheel. It's all right, Homer. Uh, I'm not worried anymore. In fact, I'm pretty thankful. You know what? Let's go race again. All right. All right, you two. Be safe. And kids, remember that Bible verse. We don't have to worry. We can be thankful to God instead. Well, I hope you remember to be thankful for what God has given you, what he hasn't given you, and that he's given you himself. And remember to trust in the Lord with all of your heart and don't lean on what you think you know and commit your ways to him. Well, I'll catch you all on the surf side. Later, Gators. <laughs>